Welcome on the News Belt on the AM Show. Let's get into our first story now. And President of the Bono Regional House of Chiefs, Osadjifo Osiadiyo Ajiman Bedu II, has appealed to President Ekofuado to intervene in the prosecution of Member of Parliament elect for Asen North, James Jache Kwesen. Mr. Kwesen is facing criminal charges brought against him by the state in connection with his contest of the 2020 parliamentary election. Speaking at the 10th anniversary lecture of John Evans at a Mills in Sunyani, Domahene Osajifo Ajimambedu intimated that the president should take steps to halt the trial. I'm on Supreme Court here, sir. Number two, I bet you have been in the you will be no crane in Bianca Sadia, some make was a brim quarter, Cassandina and come in, Macaulay, come in for right. The Nancy and Camacon, one share, one, everybody, but this I send me a war, and to me, for Cabin. No more, Miss and the Attorney General of Ghana, and Raman the Kwame, sir, a dear B. Airconso. Na Oshagana for a Nijian Nima, Otimia, Ochaso. Nano, I say no. Bay, Sapa Panabacha, Nako Yanum, Sonyan Pibun, Banco Tofro. Batuman and Asa Bandraman. Bantraman. I know about women, majority no guy. Fifty seven point five six. Why have you become to have a bathroom? A matter of urgency. Yeah. I'm appealing to the president of the attorney general, yeah. president of the republic. Yeah. If he has any role to play, yeah. that trial should be aborted. The attorney general should, as a matter of urgency, file a novel prosecutor to end that particular decision. Sir, make a way because that was what. Ma, ye did the Ghana for a ten. Ye did the Asenna for a ten. No credit, some may engineer her, mean who sabi sabi. In Faswobia, a debate bragana, said Damfono, the Bepako prosecute, you know. Now, so the Nigina quarter. Naba Tuamani, MP Edman of Arana Gabriel. And Koya, a Mayan Samra Papa, a massa be. Ghana for a year, Juma, a manpun to acquire. Yeah, no better my blame. Yeah, it's on this day. Yeah, my catch as a summary. Yeah, you are president. Yeah, you know, I love you. Yeah, this matter cannot go on. Yeah, attorney general. Yeah, or dame, prayer the share, but not the share. Show woman, Coco Chasse, me if you want. Me and Koyanim as Ghana for. Well, now let's head to the Ghana National Association of Teachers, which is asking government to remove all barriers preventing equal access to education in the country. General Secretary Thomas Musa laments the unavailability of schools in deprived communities. Now, he's worried about government's inability to meet the basic demands of teachers. Mr. Musa spoke when NAP presented some life jackets to teachers in the Krachi East and West districts of the OT region. Hundreds of teachers brave the odds, crisscrossing water bodies to discharge their duties. Though they fear for their lives, it is the only means of transport to their respective schools. A teacher, Prosper Adu, narrated how he narrowly survived the canoe disaster during a six-hour journey on the Volta Lake. So there was this day that I actually traveled Sunday at dawn and unfortunately on the lake there was this wind that came from behind us and so it actually brought water into the boat and the boat submerged and so we the people in the boat we were four. And the people in the boat actually all of them knows how to swim apart from me. And so my colleague teacher who was with me in the boat actually told the people that they should rescue me for him. And the truth of the matter is that even in rescuing me, because I've not traveled on a long journey like that on the lake, I was even afraid when they put me on the boat that has submerged and they were able to pull it out. And so I fell into the water again. Then some of them followed me and brought me out and put me on the canoe and actually called for people to come and help us. In a bid to ensure the safety of teachers in riverine communities, NAT headquarters 
procured and presented 251 life jackets to the OT regional branch. The jackets would be distributed to teachers in about 36 basic schools in the Krachi East and West districts. The NAT National President, Reverend Isaac Owusu, lamented the challenges teachers go through in underserved communities and called out the government. We are, we are far behind time in implementing such policy. We already have them since 2009. But the sad thing is that the employer has never been able to implement the GES. Uh, so this time around, my general secretary and uh, his team are doing everything possible to make sure that uh, there are members who, are, who find themselves in these hard-to-reach areas. The Ghana Education Service will have no excuse than to make sure that whatever is due them, that gross 20% salary as a sort of motivation, we can't, we can't, they can't give any excuse than to make sure that they implement them for our members. The NAT General Secretary, Thomas Tanko Musa, reiterated the need for the government to commit to achieving SDG 4. As much as we are not leaving anyone behind, we must ensure that nobody should lose his or her life in the course of seeking education. We've had too many of those things in recent times. So all that we are saying that whatever we can provide for the children and the teachers to ensure that by 2030, we ensure that everybody and nobody is left behind. That is what we are working towards. And so we need to ensure that on the lake, they are safe. Look, Ketekrachi West, we've been told, we have 46 communities, but only 21 have schools. So the question is the 25, where do they, where would the children attend school? It means that they will have to cross. How will they cross? So it means that they need a life jacket, government must provide them with the boat and all the other things that can help them learn. Remember, the children, I say that in all matters that affect the child, the interest of the child should be paramount. And that is our, that's our watchword, that leave no one behind, but also ensure that no child should die in the course of seeking education. The gesture is the sequel to an earlier one in 2002, where members lamented the jackets presented were inadequate. Fed Kwame Asari, Joy News, Kudokope. Now on the next story, the Ministry of Fisheries and Aquaculture Development has closed the sea to artisanal and industrial trawl fleets for this year. The closed season is a fisheries management measure to replenish Ghana's depleting fish stock. Richard Kwedunako has more from a ceremony in Elmina to shut the sea. Appeal to fishers to desist from fishing and comply with the closure. On this note, I declare the season closed for artisanal canoes and inshore vessels from the 1st to 31st of July 2023 and for the trawl vessels on the 1st of July to 31st of August 2023. In the declaration to close the sea at Elmina, the declaration to close the sea signals the shutdown of the sea for both artisanal fishers and the industrial fishing vessels. The minister stated that the advantages of closing the sea far outweigh the disadvantages and aid the fishers to support the fisheries management measure born out of science. We all attest to the fact that the marine subsector has experienced decline in fish stock level and size due to activities of over-exploitation and illegal unregulated and unreported fishing, among others. The livelihoods of the over 3 million people and 187 coastal fishing communities that depend on the fisheries resources are being threatened by depletion or decline of fish stocks. Accordingly, the Ministry and the Fisheries Commission since 2016 have been implementing the closed fishing season as a fish stock recovery and replenishing the strategy, strategy in accordance with Section 84 of the Fisheries Act 2002. The continuous closure of the sea for the past seven years for the industrial fleet and four years for the artisanal and inshore 
fleets has shown significant positive impact towards fish stock recovery. For instance, the results of biological survey conducted in 2022 indicates that canoe landings were higher after the closure period than before the closure. She indicated that she won't hesitate to crack the whip on any fisher or groups of fishers that flout the measure put in place after months of stakeholder consultations. Government is fully aware of the short-term economic impact of the closed fishing season on fishers. The ministry will therefore continue to provide relief items in the form of rice and cooking oil to support fishers and fish processes during the closure period. I wish to inform you that the various mandated enforcement authorities will commence full surveillance and enforcement activities to ensure compliance to the closed fishing season and offenders will be prosecuted accordingly. President of the Ghana Industrial Trawlers Association, Stephen Ajokache, called on the ministry to check the EMS that was recently installed. Mr. Ajokache also called on other stakeholders. Central Regional Minister Justina Marigorasan expressed government commitment to improving the lives of the people who dwell on the ocean. She praised the fishers for agreeing to be part of what she calls a practice that would rejuvenate the fishery stock. Paramount Chief of Edna. Nana Kodjokondria appealed to the ministry to double check on the issue of illegal transshipment of fish at sea. According to him, the issue of cycle is not yet over. This year happens to be the year both Ghana and Cote d'Ivoire are embarking on a joint close season. It is expected that other countries within the West African sub-region will join in subsequent closure of the sea for the collective gains of the shared resource. Richard Kwejonyako, Joy News. Amina. Let's talk social welfare and the director of the Wager Leprosarium, Reverend Father Andrew Campbell, is calling for more support for people living with leprosy across the country. According to him, many of such persons are helpless and live in penury. He was making the appeal at the inauguration of the Lepers Aid Board and Council of Co-workers and Friends of Father Campbell Foundation. Father Campbell says he was inspired by Mother Theresa to embark on the project by supporting the vulnerable in the society. But he says the demands on him have become a normal such that he needs his friends and associates to help him put smiles on the faces of the vulnerable in the Ghanaian society. Very, very happy moment because over the years here in Ghana, I'm over 52 and a half years in Ghana. and. Every year I seem to get more and more people coming to me for help. The street children, the lepers in the different settlements all over the country. And more and more people are coming and I cannot do it all on my own. I need help. And that's why when I was reading about Mother Teresa forming this uh, friends and co-workers of Mother Teresa, I said yes, that's what I need to do, is to have friends and co-workers of Father Campbell coming together and be able to help because the poor people today many of them go to bed hungry the poor people they cannot afford a lawyer like one of my friends a very poor person he said to me father he said for the poor there's no justice I cannot afford a lawyer I cannot so he was discouraged you know in this and then when you see the, the prices of medication, you know, one person here in the leprosarium, she had two clots in the lung. I'm paying 950 CDs a month just for medication, just for one person. He further called for support to enable him meet the demands that come with catering for the lepers. So we must help them. Those of us who are well, those of us who are strong, those of us who have something, we must share it with others. When God has given all of us gifts, so we can easily share it with others. It might be just something small or something big, whatever it might be, you know, because Mother Teresa was asked once, well, what you're doing is like a drop of water in the ocean. And Mother Teresa says, the ocean is better off for that drop of water. Every Christmas we have a concert, so we'll be organizing our concert and to get more and more people to come and donate and let people know what is happening 
because many people don't even know a time that Leija Wage Leprosarium exists. They don't know. They don't know that every year over 250 new cases of leprosy in Ghana. They don't know that. They don't know these things. So we will be able to help them and to be able to let people know and uh, let them know when they know this, touch their hands and touch their heart and touch their pocket. There were pledges and other donations at the launch. Former Auditor General Daniel Yao Domelovo graced the launch. Richard Kwejenyaku Joy News Wager Leposarium, Accra. Well, the Achimota Senior High School has resurfaced on the National Science and Math Quiz battleground, spanking their opponents, Lashibi Community SHS and Ebenezer SHS. The contestants are working to win a third NSMQ trophy at the national stage. Michael Ashali has more in this report. We are brothers and our mother is at school. She will guide us all and need so to learn that we may teach, so to subjugate ourselves that we may rule. No, 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 no. Play the game, shout and beam, spread and beam time winners of the National Science and Mars Quiz, Achimota School is once again hungry for an NSMQ title after 19 years of drought. The closest they came to winning another trophy was in 2009 but fell short. In 2022, the school missed out on the Nationals after a painful defeat to Laboni Senior High School in the regional qualifiers. Now, they are poised to reclaim their glory. S O for four minus. That's incorrect. Achimota School for the bonus. We have H to S O for two minus. Simple. Why is such that negative eight less than or equal to Y less than or equal to two? Perfect. Achimota School, your major question. You have y equals 5 plus 4 sine x. Okay, so we have y is such that 1 less than or equal to y less than or equal to 9. Exactly. Well, after four rounds, it was at Chimota School that was crowned the overall victor of the final contest on the second day in the Greater Accra region now. Uh, well, you could say that they lashed Lashibi Senior High School, including Ebenezer Senior High School. Well, let me ask the gentleman that managed to do that for their school. Well, we came prepared and so we delivered. I see, but you also were up there from the beginning. How did it feel, especially at some points when Lashibi and Ebenezer were picking up points as well? It felt uh, a bit disturbing, but I was able to get back and then we were able to pick questions. So, I particularly noticed that you were sweating throughout. I mean, why is that really? It's just normal. It's normal? Yeah. I can only really imagine what's going on in your mind. Yeah. I mean, your school hasn't been to the final since 2009. Oh? Yeah. 2009. That's been a very long time. The last time you actually won was 2004, nearly 20 years ago. I mean, what is the commitment from yourselves uh, for this particular year's NSMQ? So um, we'll be working hard with our teachers. Um, so far, our teachers have been helping us together with the old students. And by God's grace, we've come this far and we'll be relying on their support to continue moving forward. Although they won, all eyes were on Tyrone Magai, conspicuously visible among the Achimota NSMQ team, cheering his colleagues on. Only two years ago, he found himself at the center of a controversy that shook the education sector when he had to fight to be enrolled in Achimota. After he was earlier spotted sparring in a trial contest, many thought he would represent his school on the big stage. Only time will tell 
if he will ever get that chance. For now, he has been left out of the three-man squad. Coordinator of the school believes that they are on course to unseat regional champions Presec Legon. We we'll take each competition a step at a time and we believe that we, we have what it takes to be champions. We were the first edition champions, so we are coming back strongly. In this competition, scores don't really influence the next one. What matters is going back to the drawing board to correct our mistakes and then move ahead from there. So you've heard from their coordinator and then the students themselves. They are going to prepare and come back stronger. And you've heard from them, they're also willing to prepare hard to unseat at least Presec and then deal with the other schools at the regional level. Let's see how that goes. For Joy News, Michael Ashali. Exciting times if you're in Accra. That's our recap of the news this morning. But do stay up next. We host NDC's parliamentary candidate for South Tung, Maxwell Lukuto. He is our guest for the news review.